world, how are you? Um, today I want to answer the question, what are the best places to visit in Central America? First of all, I want to state that the countries in Central America are actually Costa Rica, Panama, Nicaragua, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, and Belize. So you have six opportunities to visit either everything in one in one whole trip if you have at least two weeks or just start scratching your map and come to Central America six times which would be really awesome if you can do that. So let's start with one of my favorites and the one that I'm currently located which is Costa Rica, the land of Pura Vida. One of the best places to visit is uh, Manuel Antonio, which is a national park with fantastic beaches. So you have a little bit of everything. The next place I really love here in Costa Rica is the Arenal Volcano. You can enjoy actually a full crater volcano with hot springs and enjoy a lot of adventure like the canopy tour, um, hanging bridges, you can actually do rafting. Then um, you can go to another place which I love that it's Monte Verde. Monte Verde is a fantastic place for rainforest. It's actually a cloud forest. Um, it's a little bit more chilly but it's a fantastic place to enjoy the nature and just relax in the Pura Vida of Costa Rica. Then you can of course relax on the famous beaches of Guanacaste like Papagayo Gulf or Tamarindo, fantastic paradise for surfing. My next destination would be Nicaragua where you can enjoy also premium surfing, fantastic food in the areas of San Juan del Sur and Granada which is one of the best colonial towns in Central America because the other one that it's a beautiful colonial town is Antigua in Guatemala. This one is a must and it's one of the hidden gems that we have in Central America that you have to discover. Another place that I really like in Guatemala is Tikal. If you're into the Mayan culture, this is one of the places that you must visit. It's little by little getting more well known and it's just fantastic to explore the pyramids and get into the stories and the mysteries of what could have happened with this amazing culture. Another place that I love again is in Belize. If you like the beach and the diving or snorkeling or just relaxing on white sandy beaches, of course, you have all of the coast of Belize where you can enjoy this. Go to Ramon's village, for example, or staying in Ambergris Key, which is a fantastic place to get fresh seafood as well. Finally, Panama. Panama has a lot to offer, not only the Panama Canal, which of course a lot of people want to go through to explore what it's like to actually cross from the Pacific to the Caribbean in just one day. It's an amazing experience, but Panama offers a lot more. You can actually have rainforest, you have a lot of indigenous cultures that you can live and eat with them and learn about the little crafts that they do, which is fantastic. In Panama, you have places like um, the Cunayala Islands, 365 islands that you can actually explore. You can rent a boat and just drive around and sleep there in little huts or if you want to stay on a catamaran. It's a fantastic place to visit. And also the famous Bocas del Toro in Panama, which is actually a surfer's paradise and just pristine surfers and just relaxing really depending on, on what you're looking for. So as you can see, Central America offers so much um, that I hope you're liking our videos and click here subscribe and hopefully say yes, I want to hear more from you guys. Pura Vida!